What Sea of Thieves has meant to me is really hard to convey. It's been a very special project, and it's really impacted my life in ways I never thought possible. And to just say that really doesn't make sense. So I wanted to kind of put this together to show exactly what Sea of Thieves has meant to me. To do that, we'll start with its reveal at E3 2015. Today I'm proud to give you a first look at a new exclusive game from Rare, a shared world adventure game. This is by far the most ambitious game Rare has ever created. After seeing Sea of Thieves for the first time, I was instantly hooked. I knew right away that this game was a sort of culmination for Rare after years of including piratey things in so many of their games. From that point on, I followed Captain Bones on Twitter and dissected every post that he made, looking for clues about what features the game may hold or any other bits of information I could gather from the obscure posts. In those earliest days of Sea of Thieves' existence, a small but passionate community grew out of a desire to learn more about the project. As time went on, we continued to relish in the steady release of new concept art, riddles, sound bites, and whatever else the witty skeleton captain could get his phalanges on. Our small community continued to socialize and work together, trying to follow a slew of virtual maps or literal riddle quests. In retrospect, it's as if the design team was actually doing preliminary voyage research on us. This trend continued for months until one fateful morning in March of 2016. Oh hi, it's John Vincent from Rare, and I'm giving you, yes, you, the opportunity to be the first person in the world to play Sea of Thieves. That's right, I'm giving away all expenses paid trips to England to visit legendary Studio Rare. And that's all there is to it. So get creative, crack out that camera, and get ready for the voyage of a lifetime. We'll be waiting! What are you doing? I went to work immediately, coming up with several different concepts for videos. Throughout the first week, I reworked and combined them and eventually had a full screenplay written out. The following weekend, I convinced my wife to drive around the state of Oregon with me to film the entire project, with her having a very important role in the whole thing. I submitted my video just 11 days after the contest was announced, and then we waited. Hello again! Time for the final results of our Sea of Thieves Play It First contest. Let's meet the lucky winners who will visit us here at Rare. Jeff here earned a place with his documentary style video showcasing the impact his Sea of Thieves obsession was having on his scene-stealing lady wife. We were seriously impressed with the performances and the detail in some of the props. We just hope we haven't put too much strain on this marriage. I actually found out that I was a winner just three days after submitting my entry. However, I had to sit on this information for over a month while the contest ensued. After that, everything was a complete whirlwind. Next, I'm excited to show you a world premiere of Sea of Thieves gameplay. Three weeks ago, we invited some of our awesome Sea of Thieves community to Rare to be the first players in the world to play our game. <laughs> All right, so we are coming up on our turn into oh, Rare. Oh my God. Oh. Context sensitive moment, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're heading out. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> 
everyone. Hi. We put them into three crews with no tutorials and watched them set sail for adventure. This is their story. Oh my god, we're playing, you guys, we're, we're, we're playing Sea of Thieves. Holy shit, this just hit me. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, you guys! Oh, okay. Oh no! Oh, I found the captain's quarters. This is mine. Mine. Oh! Oh! Ball. Man the cannon! They're shooting back! We're screwed! We thank God, yeah! <laughs> no! There's a ship to the left, to the left! Oh my god! They're going down, yeah! <laughs> Let's go! That trip was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. And the surprise of appearing in the E3 trailer was just a cherry on top of the whole thing. For the next two years, I continued to follow the game and keep in touch with the developers on nearly a daily basis through social media or interviewing them on podcasts. When the first alpha was announced in late 2016, the 12 of us who had visited the studio were the first on the list of 1,000, and we got to sail together again. At various points throughout the alpha, I randomly ended up crewed with people from Rare or other enthusiastic fans, and continued to build out great bonds and make amazing memories. As I continued to stay involved with the community, Rare invited me to help moderate the Sea of Thieves Mixer channel at the end of 2017. It's something that I still help with to this day, and I do it with pride. As we neared the release date, I was in touch with creative director Greg Mails on Twitter, and he cryptically suggested that I check out the game's clothing shop. <laughs> From its announcement Throughout its development, from its launch until now, Sea of Thieves has continued to mean so much to me. The friendships I've made, both in the game and through the online community, have meant so much to me and have made it one heck of a first year. I can't begin to thank Rare enough for these past four years, and I'm looking forward to where we sail together in the future.